Uh, the other fights, Roy McDonald against Nate Diaz. Why is McDonald the favorite? Uh, you know, lines and stuff are direct indications of where people are putting money, and more people are putting money on, on Roy McDonald at this point. Um, I like Roy McDonald in the fight, though, Jack. Well, I think it's it, with uh, Nate Diaz. It, it's always do you have the submission chops to avoid getting swept and and or Camilo to guillotined, and at the same time be able to to pin him down and hold him down. Um, I think striking wise, Diaz has a, a bit of reach and will be able to to keep him at bay and and, and and you know punish him. Can McDonald get him down? I think so. I, I don't think Rory McDonald is bad from a wrestling perspective. Is you know he's particularly good in jiu-jitsu. But and I, and I, I hate I hate to steal a Mike Goldbergism, but he's ultra tough. <laughs> he's ultra tough. He sure is. I mean, he was a guy who um, really got has really gotten some some quality endorsements. They talked about this on MMA Live last night, and uh, Kenny Florian was coming right out and saying, I mean, this kid has pretty much, as far as he could tell, one of the brightest futures at 155 in the promotion. And he had a setback, so I think a lot of people dialed down the excitement on him. But he's 20 years old. He might be 21 now um, and came in so exceptionally re- well-rounded at such a young age that I think there's a lot of uh, enthusiasm around his potential. Whereas with Nate, I think while he, you know, he's rugged, he wins um, – he wins a lot more than he loses, and he certainly has a varied and, tr- and very um, dangerous skill set. Um, I, I can see kind of a surge of people thinking that it's worth taking McDonald yeah. um, at, at this point in both guys' careers. But I don't know. I, I think you know at first brush, it's one of those fights where you've got a guy like Diaz who's been through so many different types of fights, and people have so much more of a look on him, and um, he's such more of a proven commodity, and you've got such a clear idea – you know of how how he can persevere through certain situations. That it's tough to take a guy with that much that much legs against a guy who hasn't really been tested in so many different ways uh, in big UFC fights. Nate Diaz faces faces the ultra tough Rory McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> I botched it, but I had to get it out of my system. No 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 I just need to isolate you doing that. It's minimalism, TJ. I like to boil it down to its essential sound. <laughs> That's really all it is. Yeah. When I coming you know, up so... next. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'm thinking of uh, uh, Unleashed. Oh. At the end of Unleashed, he goes inside the octagon. And then, like that then class does his cheesy on. smile with his, you know, yeah, yeah, uh, Phoenix High School of '86. Oh. God, oh, I don't even God. know where he's from. Lord help us, Mike Goldberg. Um, yeah, but you can you can bank on that. It is there is something about Diaz versus McDonald that you can definitely think yeah. you, you can more easily predict Goldberg's routine than maybe I other mean, fights. You help me out, but it'll be coming up next: the Ultimate Fighter winner Nate Diaz versus the ultra tough <laughs> Rory McDonald. Rory McDonald. It's from home in Canada, yeah. and on his home turf tonight, he will do uh, da, da, da. And then Roy McDonald says something. I'm, Nate, I'm ready to fight in front of my entire home crowd. <laughs> I'm going to do very good. Nate Diaz, but he suffered a setback, but the tough Stockton kid. Da, no, no, no. Nate Diaz says something like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to come out there, I'm going to use jiu-jitsu, and <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do real good, and you just look out, mf uh, and Stockton 209, Jake Shields. Keep the hoodie. Yeah, exactly. Coming up next. <laughs> so, yeah, there's going to be a lot. You're going to have a full slate of that, TJ. You'll be able to see every single fight on the card and every single Mike Goldberg intro. We welcome the fans on Facebook <laughs> <laughs> to vote on your screen. Who's going to win? Is it going to be the challenger, Jake Shields, or the welterweight champion, George Rush St. Pierre. Toronto is wrong. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's going to be, there's going to be a whole um, canon, a whole UFC 129 canon for Mike Goldberg, a, a, a glossary, if you will. I think you and I should just do all the pre fight packaging, send it in audio form so they can just use it. And then Mike Goldberg doesn't have to do anything. <laughs> 